Hey guys, first half of this video is just going to be about um, adding skins into a regular server and then the second half is going to be adding um, skins into a zombie mod server uh, because zombie mod servers are a little bit different when adding them because of the zombie reload plugin. You have to do it in several locations. But um, Skip to the second part of the video if you're doing it for zombie servers. Um, this part is for regular servers. Um, I'm doing this specifically for a jailbreak server. So um, let's start. So I downloaded this skin that I liked, um, Pedo Bear. So you just download that into your downloads folder, whatever, wherever you have it. Um, open up your FTP and um, you can go into your. You open up after you extracted the file. You can actually just upload these two into your CS:GO folder, and it'll um, put itself in the models and materials. And then what you want to do is make sure that you have Manny's admin source mod. It'll work too. It'll be just ever so slightly different. Um, so you go into your Manny's, and then you scroll down to downloads. And you see I already added it, but that's basically what it's going to look like. Um, you can ignore this. like I mean, keep this right there. But um, You just quotes. You can add a name. You don't even have to. Um, but you make sure that you have this stuff. They actually, in, in the file, they actually do it for you. So you can just copy it. Some people don't, and you have to actually go through and get all the locations and do all this stuff. I had to do that for one map pack, which map packs are actually a pain in the ass. But um, so that's downloads, and you're gonna need this stuff again. Cause let's go to back to Manny's. You're gonna scroll up to skins, and then what you wanna do is. You can actually rename that list files folder as pedo, bear, or whatever you want. Just make sure it's lowercase and put it into whichever, like, uh, whoever you want to have it or allow to have it, whether or not it's an admin CT, a, a public T, public CTs. Um, so I put this one for public T's and admin T's. So you just make that text file, and that's all that's in there. So you could just rename that folder, and then you want to go back, and you go to the uh, one text file that's out here, and you name it. Uh, you put the name, so when they type settings in the chat, they're going to see that, and then... going to see this and then this just locates it um, the text file and uh, where all the models are located and whatnot so um, that's for jailbreak server it's pretty straightforward map packs will be a little bit pain in the ass because what you have to do is um, you have to create a single text file for each model that'll be located in the same while uh, sometimes they do it for you, sometimes they don't. This one did not. The drug cartel map pack. I had created individually all of these text files um, just for, you know, look how many files there are. Th I had to individually just. And then what you have to do is be very careful because um, uh, you have to make sure you're getting. You have to find the right name, so one's going to be custom. Like, or like they'll have different names in them, but um, you have to make sure they're similar, if you know what I mean. A little hard to explain, but you get the point. That's all I care about. So, uh, thank you and enjoy.
Hey guys, coming into the second half of the video for the zombie server um, skins. Uh, you're probably going to want to watch the first half just for the sake of time and uh, me explaining things. So, um, once you do that, head right back over. But, I'm going to start. So, uh, I found skins that I liked. Not necessarily these, but these will work too. Um, if you're just putting default skins on. So, um, you download whatever skins you like, uh, and you upload the materials and the models into your CSGO folder of the FTP, and then you, it's going to be slightly different. So after you've done the part where you put in the manis, admin, and the download, you, you don't have to put it into the um, skins folder if you don't want people to use them under settings when you type that in chat uh, just don't you don't have to but uh, but it still will be in uh, your manny's admin if you want to set someone's skin up like that um, so uh, now what you want to do is you're going to go into add-ons source mod because zombie reload is a source mod configuration uh, go into your configs folder and then your ZR, open downloads, and you're going to have to put those files in here as well. So, do that, close that, you're going to open up your models. This is the part where you get your um, skins to show, like, uh, work in the server when someone turns into a zombie. So, you're going to be working with these two files then. And this will take quite a bit of tweaking. Uh, the player classes will take quite a bit of tweaking. Um, you open up your models folder and you just use this as an example so so that the game recognizes that uh, zombies as a class or a team you just add all your models there, you know, name it and then this is just some extra stuff for like donators whatever you want and you might want to keep that open too so um, make sure when you enter this path here that it only goes to the models folder leading to to the models like MDL files not like this where it has the MDL file like after it Blah, just okay so you can use Zombie Classic as an example and then tweak it around a bit. Um, look at you know the human normal class and the default speeds, like if you're setting speeds and stuff. I've been working on this Zombie uh, Devil, the Chucky skin, and he's going to be really fast, less jump, plus knockback, and less HP. So know tweak around with it you know tweak it a little bit uh, set it how you know you want and um, so he's gonna be really fast so regular human speed is 300 480 seems about right especially if you look at the zombie uh, fast one he's 420 he's still decent fast pretty pretty fast so and for like uh, if you have map packs you're gonna have to add this a couple times so the MDL file like, if it's let's say there's uh, slow there's like different kinds of maps like this one has ZH1 fix, there's ZH2 fix, and ZH3 fix or something. Yeah. So you're gonna have to add that three times if a map if you have a map pack. It's. I personally hate map packs. But this is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Uh, tweaking. And. Just copy and paste. It's simple. And then. You save that, you're pretty much set. Just make sure your 
web sync and uh, yeah thanks guys hey guys just uh, last thing I forgot um, if for the zombie guys if you're using uh, what is it if you want it to be in a group like only for admins and stuff you're gonna want to put admin CT or or uh, whoops just admin right there and then you're gonna make the flag one um, if it's multiple stuff you know add a number like add a number and then make sure you add the team that you want it to be for the skin so terrorist so yeah don't put admin CT or anything like that just do admin and then put a flag there if you have it um, Uh, but these are zombie skins, so don't do that in the zombie classes. Do that for the human classes. So, see, I guess they do a team one, team two thing. So team one would be probably counter sh terrorist. Hmm. I would probably just go with team one and then do that so uh, yeah so you could change the default um, all it is is the mo the models folder uh, not the materials so if you're if you have a question about that that's all it is and uh, last but not least even if you have classes it doesn't mean you can't use another skin you just have to make sure that you put it in your settings like uh, the skins folder and in Manny's so that people can choose what kind of skin they want to be. So there's no restrictions there. Alright, thanks guys.